In the last lesson, we downloaded some free patterns and placed them on a jump drive we're going to use to transfer designs. In this lesson, we'll bring those designs into our Quilt Path tablet. Some Quilt Path tablets have two USB ports, while others have only one. If your Quilt Path tablet has only one USB port, you received a USB hub with your tablet. A USB hub is like an extension cord with extra outlets. It allows us to plug in more than one USB device at a time into a single USB outlet on the tablet. If you have two USB ports in your Quilt Path tablet, insert your purchased patterns USB jump drive into the open USB port on the tablet. If you only have one USB port, you will use the USB hub to import your patterns. To install the USB hub, close out of the Quilt Path program if it was open on your tablet, locate the USB hub, and insert the jump drive you are using to transfer your downloaded patterns. Disconnect the USB cord coming from your wiring harness or umbilical cord that is currently connected to your tablet. You'll find Velcro underneath the small shelf where your tablet's power supply sits. Your USB hub also has a Velcro strip on it. Press the USB hub to the underside of the shelf to hold it in place. Next, plug the USB cord coming from your umbilical cord or wiring harness directly into the USB hub. Finally, plug in your USB hub into the Quilt Path tablet and start up Quilt Path. You can actually import designs into Quilt Path from several screens within the program, including all of the menus in the Design and Create and Select and Sew sections of the software. Today, we will be using the Design and Create menu to import our pattern, which is the blue section on your home screen. Click on Quilt. You will know it is possible to import a design from the screen you are on in Quilt Path if you see the Plugins menu in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Click on the Plugins menu to find the Import function. Now we must navigate to the jump drive we are using to transfer our patterns. Look at the file tree. Do you see that we are currently looking at the C drive inside the Quilt Path folder? Tap on New Drive and a drop-down menu will appear. Here we see all the drives connected to our computer. In the previous lesson, I named my jump drive MyQP USB. Look for the one with the title of your jump drive. Select the jump drive and now you can see everything on the drive. Tap on the Patterns to Import folder we created earlier to open it up. There are the files we want to import. You'll need to import each pattern individually into Quilt Path so you have ultimate control of where you want the program to save the files inside the software. Select the js212.cqp file and tap Import. Quilt Path will import the file and open it in the optimization screen. The optimization screen allows you to animate the stitching line and even to check for inadvertent breaks in the sewing path so you can make any changes necessary. By the way, every digitizer is different and every file is different. If you attempt to import one file type and it doesn't open inside Quilt Path as you'd like, try importing a different file type of the same pattern. You'll quickly learn which file type from which online pattern company you prefer. I generally prefer to use the CQP file type if they don't offer the native GPF file type. If the design looks good and you are satisfied, tap on OK and you'll be prompted to save the file. Navigate to the folder in which you'd like the file to be saved. Even though you can save your patterns among the preloaded patterns that came with your quilt path, we recommend that you save your purchase patterns in a separate subfolder. This will make it easier to locate them if you must ever reload the quilt path software on your tablet. In this case, I'm working with a block design, so I'd like to save this pattern in the block main folder. Tap on blocks in the menu bar. Now I'll make a new subfolder in my Blocks main folder for my imported patterns. Tap on the New Folder icon on the right side of the menu bar. Enter a name for your new folder that describes your new pattern, such as the designer's name or pattern style. In this case, I'm going to name this new folder Purchase Blocks and click OK. Now you'll see your newly created folder on the screen inside the main Blocks folder. Tap on your new folder to open it. Enter the name you wish to use for the pattern you are saving. I'm going to call this one Abstract Spiral and tap on Save. That's it! Quilt Path has converted the file and added it to your pattern collection so you can use it as you wish. From here, you can import more files by using the Import plugin again. 
If you are finished importing your designs, you can go to the home page by tapping on the home button in the upper left hand corner to begin using your new design and quilt path. While you can leave the USB hub connected to your tablet, we recommend that you only use the USB hub when you import patterns. To eject the USB hub and restore your APQS machine's connection to QuiltPath, open the Windows Explorer icon from the desktop so you can safely eject the jump drive. To eject the jump drive, simply tap and hold the name of the jump drive, which is the same as right-clicking. This will open up a menu where you can select Eject. Once it is ejected, you can safely remove it from the hub or your tablet if you have two USB ports on your tablet. Next, disconnect the USB hub from your tablet along with the main USB cable from your wire harness or umbilical cord. Plug the main umbilical cord USB cable directly into your QuiltPath tablet again, bypassing the USB hub. I like to keep the jump drive I use to transfer patterns clean so I don't get confused the next time I want to import a pattern. To do this, I'll open the jump drive on my desktop computer and select all the files in the Patterns to Import folder by clicking and dragging to turn them blue. Then, I'll right-click with my mouse to select Delete. Remember that these were merely copies of the extracted files we downloaded from the internet, so you still have the original files on your home computer's hard drive in pristine condition. We're just cleaning things up. Have fun shopping and selecting new patterns. Be sure to stop by the online digital pattern stores and download their freebie patterns to get lots of practice on importing patterns. Mm -hmm.